Hi, it's Dr. William. I would like to go over something with you today that I'm pretty proud of. It's the OG Recovery Protocol. Over the years, doing liposuction, tummy tucks, BBL, there's a huge component that you have to do to get a good result in the recovery phase. But there's no real clear consensus if you ask people, well, how long do I wear this? Or how, what should I do with this? Or what order? And so there's a lot of confusion. None of it is really built on science or data or experience. What I've done is I've taken all these years of doing these procedures and come up with a very logical, simple OG recovery protocol. So this is the protocol that I have my patients follow after they've had liposuction or after they've had a BBL. The main reason I've developed this protocol is to get the very best skin and the very best result after having liposuction. That's a very simple protocol to follow. I'll just go over it with you. I'm going to explain to you why we're doing what we're doing. So with the OG protocol, very simple. You start off, you have liposuction. This is right away the first day after surgery. You're going to be wearing your faja. You're going to be wearing foams and boards. But here's the important thing. I only want you to wear your foams and boards for two weeks and then stop. I know that's a little different maybe than what you've heard before. Let me explain. Right after surgery, you're going to wake up and you're going to be in your faja. You're going to stay in that faja 24-7 for the first six weeks. The next six weeks, you're going to wear your faja for 12 hours a day and take it off at night. You're also going to wear, beginning on the first day, you're going to wear foams and boards. So these are the boards. The board is going to go in the front and the board is going to, another board is going to go in the back. Those are the two areas where you have the most likelihood of developing a seroma. So we'd like for you to keep compression on the back and the front during the first two weeks after surgery to decrease your chance of getting a seroma. These are wonderful. I love boards. I think you should wear them, no question. But don't wear them longer than two weeks. At two weeks, you're going to get rid of the boards. You're going to get rid of the foam. The foams go on the sides. So you wear the boards in the front and the back, and you wear the foams on the sides and in the upper abdomen. But after two weeks, I want you to stop with the boards, stop with the foams. The reason is all about your fascia. Well, what on earth is fascia? So fascia is something that you can't see. Fascia is something that as a surgeon, we rely on every single day to help repair things, keep things together. It's a very strong tissue that holds our whole body together. The problem is, is if you keep that fascia, which is underneath your skin, if you keep that compressed with your boards and your foams longer than two weeks, what happens is that fascia, that tough layer, can become scarred and that can lead to fibrosis. Fibrosis gives you lumpy, bumpy skin and it looks like you had liposuction. What I found is there's a trend to over compression and people are compressing for six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, trying to get a flatter tummy. The problem is it's not giving you a flatter tummy. That's where the liposuction comes in. What those over compression is doing is keeping the fascia from moving and it's compressing it and it's leaving it in that scarred position. We don't want that. So at two weeks, you get rid of the boards, you get rid of the foams. That's where this new product comes in. This is called FibroGuard. This is shaped like a waist trainer. You put this directly on your skin underneath your faja. The faja is critically important to continue to wear, but what we do is we start, you get rid of the boards and the foam and you start using the FibroGuard two weeks after surgery and you continue to use that for three months. So what is FibroGuard? Well, it looks like a waist trainer, but it's not. It's something completely different than a waist trainer. This is the outside. It has the same good quality material as the Faja with the hooks. And it also has another layer with the Velcro, which allows you to get a nice snug fit. 
We don't want it to fit too tight, but we want it just to be nice and snug. What is it doing? Well, the fiber guard on the inside has these incredible little half foam microspheres. And what these little things do is they're in direct contact with your skin. And just by breathing, just by walking, normal everyday average movements, these little spheres are reacting to your body's movement and they're creating little micro movements that mimic a manual lymphatic drain, drainage massage. So these little wonderful half spheres, they're going on on your skin, they're helping your skin and they're helping your fascia. That is critically important. They're helping to keep your fascia soft and supple, returning it back to where it, what the fascia was prior to having the liposuction. And by keeping the fascia soft and moving, rather than compressing it with a board and having it just stick down and scar, the fascia starts to move. And with these little micro movements, that gets the fluid out of the fascia and it softens the fascia. The skin will follow the fascia. So if your fascia becomes nice and smooth, your skin becomes nice and smooth. This is absolutely critical for getting soft, smooth skin after liposuction. The other part of the protocol is the OG roller. So the OG roller is very important as well. And this is used in three different ways. At the very beginning, your first day after surgery, you can use it right on top of the faja. You're just gonna very lightly, just with the weight of the faja, just rub it all over the areas that you've had liposuction, including the sides, you can use this in the back. And that's just very gentle movements because your skin is gonna be tender. You're not gonna tolerate having something firmly pressing on you after having liposuction because it's gonna hurt. But three or four days later, when the pain starts to go down, you can then use the roller directly on your skin. So you're gonna be using the roller, just like you're rolling out pizza dough or a pie or some, some type of pastry, you roll it out and that where you start to press harder. And it moves with these detachable handles, it moves. And so you're gonna go up and down. You're going to do that for two weeks, then, you're going to do something different with a roller. And the roller becomes a manual lymphatic drainage tool. So it mimics manual lymphatic drainage. So in that situation, what you do is you turn on the vibration. And once you turn the vibration on, this starts to really move. Then you leave it on the vibration and you just very gently, just let it go against your skin. You're, this is not pushing hard at this point and you're only gonna do it in one direction. So you're gonna start up high and you're gonna move it all the way down your abdomen and what that's doing is that's opening up the lymphatic channels, getting the lymphatic fluid into the channels and then you're gonna very gently move the roller one direction. You're only gonna go down and you're going towards your groin, towards the crease where your leg and your hip meet. Why are you going there? You're going there because those where the, that's where the lymph nodes live. And the lymph nodes are the ones that collect that lymphatic fluid. They return it back to your heart and then you just pee it out. You get rid of the fluid. So you start off using this right away after surgery on top of your faja, just use it very lightly, roll it all over. At two weeks, then what, or at three or four days when you feel comfortable, you start to use it on your skin and you start to use it in both directions and you push harder. Once you hit that two week mark where you get rid of the foams, you get rid of the boards, turn the vibration on and that's where you do that unilateral direction, opening up those lymphatic channels, getting the fluid in, moving them to the lymph nodes to get rid of that fluid. So the fiber guard, the faja, the foams, the boards, the roller, they all work together to get you the very best skin after having liposuction so that you're not somebody that is happy with their shape but not happy with their skin. We want you to have really good skin after liposuction so not only do you get a shape change to your body but you get soft skin so nobody knows 
that you had liposuction. So when you go to the beach, you wear your bikini, you feel comfortable that your abdomen looks normal and feels normal and is soft and is not lumpy or bumpy with fibrosis. Fibrosis is just such a huge enemy and this is like the army that will go and get rid of that enemy. That's the OG recovery protocol. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, but following this protocol is the best way to get the best possible skin after having liposuction.